how to use these videos. As the video plays, go ahead and pause it and prompt your child's participation as much as you like. This might be when the instructor asks a specific question or when you see an opportunity for them to engage. As you're doing that, keep the session positive by giving praise and rewards throughout the video. That doesn't mean only when they get something right, you want to give praise and rewards as they sit in the absence of challenging behavior. And lastly, if, the, if your child gets something wrong, just show them the right answer or direct them to the video and I'll show them the right answer. They don't have to practice it or they don't have to do it as long as they see the correct answer and they don't get the praise or reward, you can just move on to the next opportunity. Thanks. Hey everybody, it's me, Casey. Today we're gonna continue going over the simple machines. We're gonna talk about some of the um, examples of all of the simple machines, and then we're gonna learn about the screw, and then we will practice different aspects of the screw. The six simple machines. There's a wheel and lever, excuse me, a wheel and axle, a lever, a pulley, an inclined plane, a screw, and a wedge. Some words that we use to describe simple machines are force, which is when you push or pull something, a wheel, which is a round object that spins in a circle. Uh, we use the word direction, which is where something is. So something might be in the direction up, or to the side or behind. Load is the thing that is moving on the simple machine and effort is the work that it takes to move something. Let's learn about the screw now. These are all examples of a screw. The easiest one to think about is an actual metal screw that you use to join two pieces of wood together. Otherwise, screws can be found in uh, other types of tools like this C-clamp here, or on everyday household items like the top of a bottle or jar has a screw on it. Parts of a screw. A screw is made of an inclined plane, which is the part here the sharp part that goes on the outside that is wrapped around one cylinder. The inclined plane goes up here in little tiny circles, so that way as the screw turns in a circle, the load is moved up or down. Here, let's practice. Show me the direction up. Show me the direction up. Yep, that's up. Do this. Do this. Turning in a circle is how the screw moves its load up or down. The force turns it in the circle and the load moves in the direction of the screw. Now we'll practice. What are they doing? What are they doing? Opening the door. Screws can be used to open and close things. Point to the one that you use to drink. Point to the one that you use to drink. You use a bottle to drink and you use a screw to open and close the bottle cap. This is a C-clamp. Match C clamp. Match C clamp. This long cylinder part is the screw. You say it. Turning. Turning. Turning a screw causes its load to move up or down.
This is a door. Match door. Match door. Again, doors open or close just like a screw. Listen, touch your shoulder. Touch your shoulder. Your shoulder can turn in a circle just like a screw turns. Do this. Do this. Again, turning in a circle is the direction of the force that moves the load of a screw. What are they doing here? What are they doing? Turning on and off a light. A light bulb is screwed into a lamp using a screw. Do this. Do this. This is screwing and unscrewing something. You say, light bulb, light bulb. Light bulbs use screws to stay in place. Point to the screw. Point to the screw. These little metal things are screws. This person is using a drill to screw the screw downward. Point to the one that's made of metal. Point to the one that's made of metal. Screws are made of metal because it's hard and sharp. Thanks for joining everybody. I hope you enjoyed learning about screws. See you next time.